Okay, this will be a photo about a topic that's very important to me. I want uh, as many people as possible to see this or, you know, tell other people about it or share this video. Because, I mean, at this point in the 2000s, um, when 2022, we already have um, Super Hydron Colliders and, I guess, we built Rose and we humans have gone over the entire planet because remember the majority of human history i think we were mostly just in africa like humans are really an endemic species like a natural habitat is africa and um then i guess whenever they had a bright idea to like, go to other climates um that greatly um changed their whole mindset and that caused the climate crisis and how we need things like cars to get around and to, oh no, eat uh, animal flesh and or their secretions and um, to be so callous towards other life, to have disregard for other life. I mean, that caused the climate crisis, of course, disregard for other life. Like, even first person who started driving a car. If you realize, oh, it kills a lot of insects, maybe that's a sign you shouldn't drive cars. Humans shouldn't drive cars because, like, what's more important, insects or humans? I mean, this may come as a shock to you, some of you, but I think insects, because, I mean, they do pollinate lots of um, flowers and fruit and stuff. Like, they make food for bees and or um, for birds and, I mean, orangutans, like, gibbons, monkeys, stuff. And, uh, humans, we, all we do is promote destruction, violence, and domination wherever we go. I mean, humans throughout history, when you think of them, think that we've been pretty, pretty terrible towards other people. Like, especially Europeans, when they around, went around to, like, India, Africa, or even North America, they just saw these people acting differently, a uh, different skin color, or um, Native Americans, they just, they weren't like civilized, and um, I know this whole concept of the other, I guess, the illusion of separateness is strong, and I guess that's a bigger problem, but no, what I'm really focusing on is anti-nihilism. Because humans, pretty much, no matter where you're from, no matter what your upbringing, uh, like, humans cause a lot of destruction, and we use up a lot of resources, and we're like a virus, and we be much better off not on this planet because it's just inherent suffering, and we cause a lot of suffering for other species, so, uh, I don't see a reason to perpetuate the species. Like, and I, I haven't said this, but um, when some people, if they tell me we're having a baby or I got pregnant or whatever, it's like, what, what gave you, what made you think it's a good idea to bring more conscious beings into existence, especially humans, because in mean, humans cause a lot of destruction. I mean, overpopulation. Like, you might say it's to perpetuate the species, but there are well over 7 billion of us now. I don't think the Earth can't handle more. We'd be much better off being less than 2 billion. So, um, and I'm sure, uh, like, after you die, it's not, like, complete darkness. You're not floating around in a void, or there's not heaven or hell. It's, um, you don't suffer. It's, oh no, it's just... Nothing. It's like before you were born, where there's no experience of pain, but there's no experience of pleasure, and there's no desire of pleasure. So, pretty sure it's much better to not be brought into existence. Because, like, I remember growing up when I was a little kid, uh, when I was first born, it was like, well, there wasn't much to do. Um, it just every morning I remember looking at kaleidoscopes, trying to like, view reality in a better light, or I would try myself to perceive what, what's the point of being here, because, like, 
it's boring and I I was wondering about my family like really you think it's worthwhile to be here why is there there's nothing to do it's boring and I mean in this physical reality once humans exist possible experience pain fear anger frustration jealousy hatred struggle um, remorse regret loss loneliness depression anxiety um, and uh, it's humans are just bring more kind of into existence because I'm sure that to any prospective parents out there I'm sure there are plenty of children in the foster or adoption care system who would love to have you as parents and I'm sure there are plenty of unborn souls that would love to not be brought into existence because it's like that child that you bring into this world uh, think about the person you bring into the world it's not a personal choice to have children that a person in the world, they may be happy for the first 10 years of their life, which, I mean, it's debatable because there are plenty of cases of children younger than 10 trying to kill themselves, attempting suicide, but, um, so once they go to, through puberty, adolescence, and they had to experience all the pain of the world, how, I guess you need to pay rent or where you might get involved with the mafia or struggle to keep a job or I don't know, you might get mad at that kid for wrecking your car or getting drunk and whatever. And so who knows, that person you bring into the world, they could grow up to be a rapist, a serial killer, a cannibal, a uh, person who eats animals, animal frogs, a dairy farmer. A, um, let's see, what else could they be? A person who just breaks things for fun? Okay, yeah, destruction is definitely not something humans should leave as part of history. We shouldn't destroy things like, even during finals week at my university, um, like, I walked into psych, the psych student union, and they, um, some people asked, do you want to break some plates? Because it's finals week and this releases um, like anxiety or like stress. But no, I can think of other better ways to release to de-stress because I don't really need to break plates or anything to de-stress. You could uh, have someone throw a, throw a baseball at you and you hit it with a bat. You could juggle, you could, I don't know, do yoga, you could eat um, something, you could eat blueberries, um, just draw, write about it, journaling, like, I mean, that's really what tell me the most, I think, writing about your problems is, I mean, it, when I took abnormal psychology class in uh, Delco, um, the teacher did say, Writing, journaling is the most effective way to like combat depression and um, to combat depression and I guess just part of what I think is, I don't know, it's when you write things down, it's telling your brain it's important. So that's sending out a message to the whole world. Like if you write down, stop having babies, then I think that'll make people less likely to continue the species because I mean the Buddha has a quote the Buddha's quote is um man's greatest mistake is reproducing himself and therefore continuing the cycle of suffering because well I'm sure there's a lot more suffering in like India third world countries which I mean you may say in I have a sign that, that says end suffering by not having babies which I walk around on campus with that and people kind of go like, wait, I'm not suffering, what, what suffering? Well, you're in a first world country. So think about places with a water shortage or like, especially in Chile where we, I don't know, grow the avocados where to do, to fuel the industries they've um, 
they ever heard so much, so many resources from the the public. Or I know in Puerto Rico, they uh, like Monsanto was there and they used a bunch of pesticides or um, GMO stuff, and they have really really bad health problems. Um, I know Africa, like clean drinking water is pretty scarce, so. I mean, people get sick from that, and I mean, starvation. I mean, I mean, that's one reason. That should be the only reason we need to get rid of animal agriculture. Stop eating meat because, I mean, the livestock consume far more than they produce. So that's the lead cause of world hunger. It's 85% of soybean, 6% of corn, and 50% of the world's wheat is used to feed livestock. So, I mean, we we can be very healthy without eating animals. I mean, we're healthier, so it's just there there's no it's a lose 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 situation to eat animal products. And by by being vegan, you're um reducing world hunger. You're fighting world hunger by just not doing something. So um yeah, if we wanted to make this world a better place to live, uh, definitely stop eating animals but um to make this place of to make this earth a much better place for all kinds of genes like for the bees all the birds the butterflies the frogs and crocodiles and elephants and seals and everything um just fewer humans there are over seven billion and uh i hope less than two billion one day i won't we'll never see that i I wish I could be around when there's less than two billion, but of course not. Um, oh, well, yeah, so anti natalism, or there's also ethelism, where it's just the belief that all, suffer, all life is suffering, you know, all, nature is a problem, it's not just humans, it's the, the nature of reality itself, of existence. Because I'm sure dogs, cats, um, gerbils, hamsters, tarantulas, um, scorpions, peacocks, everything can experience pain and fear and anger and stress and loss and regret and depression and anxiety. And so let me know in the comments what you think. Should we stop having babies? Because I really, really hope you, no one ever has babies. Cause and there's always foster care and adoption, so. And it's very selfish. Uh, yeah, think about the. It's not a personal choice when there's a victim. I'm sure that person brought into the world will not be having this increasingly owned habitable planet. Uh, sayonara. Good luck. Keep an open mind. Let me know in the comments what, what your thoughts are.